Hello guys, my name is FX and welcome back to The Walking Dead! In the last episode, we got separated from the group yet again, and now we're in a bloody sewer. What could possibly go wrong? Right, let's get started! Okie dokie, let's go down the stairs and try and find a way out. We can't go out that way. Oh, we can't go out that way. Alright, let's go down here. Aha! We found a way out! Maybe, maybe it's looking a bit dodgy this way. Take it easy. Take it easy. You don't want to fall on your ass. You don't want to fall on your ass. No! Oh, there we go. I knew it was going to happen. I, I bloody knew it was going to happen. You can't scare me. <laughs> yeah, right. Have you not seen Alien Isol? Oh, oh, it's a dead rat. Why do you want to... I'm going to do it anyway. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god-awful disease. Yeah, that's fair enough, mate. Oh. Of course it'd be locked. Why would it not be locked? What the hell's that? Oh, oh, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a valvey thing. Right, we need to find a steering wheel for that thing, I guess. What's down here now? I can hear zombies. Oh, shit. Oh, what's down here? Can we click on this? Oh, there's another one. All right, back away, back away, back away. Right, okay, so... Balls. It's a puzzle. Of course it's a puzzle. Ah! Can we can we use this? Can we use the right the, the wrench thing? Oh, okay, maybe not. Can we use the wrench thing on this? No. Alright, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. We can't go this way, no? Oh we can. Oh what? The camera angle made it look like there was a bloody woman here. Right, uh which way do we turn it? Uh Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, right? Right. I hope. Don't turn in that direction. Maybe not. I got that wrong. Move it the other way then. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. Oh, that's just what I was thinking. Can we take that? Do we? Do we take that? And use it on the other one, right? Right. But how do we get past this dude here? Oh! I'm not convinced we go that way. <laughs> I'm not convinced we go that way. Let's go this way. Why not? Oh, can we? That's not a thing we can do. Oh, it is. Bloody hell. What? Why is that left? There we go. Now go and use this on the other pipey pipey and see what miracles that does for us. Now do we turn this to the right or do we turn this to the left? I've done it right and it saved it. So I imagine that was correct. Hopefully. Right, so we get back get back in the passageway and go that way around them. That's what we need to do. He says confidently. It's probably wrong. <laughs> go on. Go on. Why is it going red? Why is it going red? It's alright. It's alright. Don't panic. Don't panic. Take your time. Right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I hope they haven't got any stragglers lagging behind. No, they haven't. Thank God for that. Right, get a move on. Oh, there's another one there, though. There's another one there. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Chuck, he must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Oh, I like Chuck. Fuck's sake. Right, let's go and bash this zombie's head in then, shall we? Oh, maybe not. Oh, hi. You look pretty. Do that. There you go. Cute. Oh, shit, she's coming, she's coming. I didn't want to use the gun, you see. Probably would have done it quicker. Oh, balls. That one. Nicely done. 
The last thing you want is a herd of zombies chasing after you. We've learnt that from episode two. One, three, it's all of them pretty much. It's just a sign. No shit. Here we go. Oh! Aha! What the hell? Is there an empty thingy there? Is there, is there, can we move it? Look at that! Someone's been here before. Someone, are we entirely sure we want to go through there? If someone's, well, we can't do anything with that. All right. We're going down the dark and spooky passageway, it looks like. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Okay. Have we got any food we can nibble on? Or a bed we can sleep in? Have a nappy nap. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Okay. Nice one. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, shit. Who are you? Who are you? Um... Uh, I don't want any it's trouble. Right. It's okay. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? Am I bloody like hell? I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? Yeah, pretty much. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? I'm not from Crawford! You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Oh, take it! It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Now shoot Vernon. them! <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I'm joking. Relax. Calm down, love. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Uh, we were looking I for a boat. Up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Um. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just going to let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not going to be able to get out of here on your own. But we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Wow, you're not very nice, are you? Um. If you've got sick people oh, here, shit, maybe I, I can help. Our group has medical supplies. What kind of medical supplies? I don't know, all kinds. I'm sure there's something you could use. We'd be happy to trade some for a guide back to where we're staying. 
Vern, we need medicine. We could have medicine. I mean, I didn't check all the cabinets. I'm not technically lying. I just bent the truth a little bit. We need you here. That and I meant to click three. I'll be all right. Oh, well. Well, that's one way of getting him to get me a, you know, take me back. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? Uh, he, he's a doctor. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. He can help on me! I think you have something that belongs to Right? Me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I'll need to see those medical supplies. Uh, what medical supplies? Yeah, about that. Uh, sorry, Doc. Uh, I had to get you on board something. <laughs> well, you just get better and better, don't you? I accidentally pressed the wrong button. You have to help us. Please. But, you know, while you're here, you may as well help him out, right? Right? I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Like what? <laughs> There's nothing good on the TV. Clementine. Clementine? Oh, shit. Where the... Oh, bollocks, right? This is not a time to play hide and seek, Clementine! Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Are you in... Are you... Are we playing hide and seek or what? Clementine? She's not in that bloody cupboard, tell you that for nothing. And she's not in the other one, because that's open. But, you know, we're going to click it anyway, because why not? Clem's drawings. But where is she? Oh, she's not snuck out, is she? Oh, please tell me she's not snuck out. There's nothing that way. She's not in the bathroom, is she? Knock on the door, mate. Don't barge in. Clementine, you here? Oh, she's not gonna be hiding in the in. The, oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Where the bloody hell is she? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me. I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? All right, mate. That's that. That's a great way of making friends. Is there another way out of here? No. All right, we've got to go through here again, have we? Right. Let's go downstairs and see if she's bloody wandering around the place with bloody Kenny and Ben. Clementine, come out, please. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Oh, for Good fuck's job. sake, look at you. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? He's getting pissed what is what he's doing. Like? Where'd you get the bottle? 
Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Oh, uh, God damn it, Ben! What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? You could have smashed it. To hell with you. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? When is? That, that, that's the end of that sentence. Yeah, that's right, Ben. That's right, Ben. Clementine, where are you? Where the hell is the kid? And why have I got to look at a table now? She's not under there, is she? I would have seen her in the other camera shot. Is she got out? Oh, when I get my hands on that little kid. <laughs> Clementine? Clementine! Where the bloody hell is she? Is she in here? Door's covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. Right, she's not in there unless there's another doggy bloody hatch thing. We can't pick up the spade. They're still in there, right? Yeah, all right, they're still in there. That's it. The crisis averted. That was fine. I didn't know if it, like, he'd came back alive with his dog. Ugh. Oh, what's this? Why have we got to look at a fence? Oh, what was that? The hell was that? Was that a card? Oh, shit. She's found something. I take it it's not a walker you found. What have you found? What have you found? The suspense is killing me. Just pan up. Hey, hey! She's found a boat. Cracker lacking. Beautiful. How the hell did you get in there if the door was locked? Holy shit. Swear. I mean, holy bum fluff. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Oh, the the bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. There you bad go. Bad news is she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. That's fair Other enough. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Uh. No, I don't want to go to Crawford. That's a Let's bad idea, isn't it? Street, see what we can find. That's not going to work. Crawford took everything and Oh shit, yeah. All world. right, fair enough. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped Looks every like we're going to Crawford then. Get the yourself. kids. Let's go. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. 
You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. Uh, That's putting it mildly. Sneak in? There be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. No! I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, they're with the medicine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we picked one up on the train, didn't we? <laughs> I've been playing this game, right? Under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Well, at least we've got a plan now. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Uh, don't sugarcoat it now. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? Where are you I going? We need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Could be. Uh. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Oh, she's got you there, mate. She's got you there again. Can't I come with you? Oh, bollocks. I don't want her to, but she might have to... See, if I say no, she'll be safe. Maybe. Maybe not. Because if everyone's coming with me, then she won't be. But if I say yes, then maybe she can help me. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told. She, the whole you know, there might be a small gap that she can get, get in ready. or something. On the other hand, we might actually see a mum and dad dead. And she might. Oh, but th there's no good way of doing that. All right. I'm. J oh, bollocks. I'm a bad carer. I'm a bad carer. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know.
Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. All right then, just like that, we're on our way on a suicide mission. Wonderful. No, no, like plan of action. Let's just let's get going. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. A bloody am. Not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is. If you take her in there and they find her, this little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. That's the one. It's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm, I'm still not convinced that was a genius idea, but when the hell have I ever made a genius idea? And on that note, guys, I am going to leave that one there, so we're on our way to Crawford to do a stealth mission. Get Sam Fisher on the phone. So, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Oh,